Okay, since um, wild cards are uh, a sort of type, uh, just as much as any other type, um, uh, they can end up being used in type parameter bounds, and uh, that's what I'm going to demonstrate down here. Uh, for a start, we've got some uh, generic interfaces down here, nothing too complicated. And uh, we've got this generic class here that we're going to look at with a uh, type parameter T which extends L of something that extends B. And that's how you can use, you've got to specify a type here, and this is a type just as much as anything else. And it's got a wildcard in it just to make things nice and complicated. So, um, just to point out by the way, um, here's one use of extends, here's another use, and this is yet a third more subtly different use to that one. Okay, so extends is a bit overused, but uh, let's have a look at what we can uh, use as a parameterization of this type. So when we construct parameterized types from this, what can we do? Well, for a start, we can do uh, this wildcard form there, that's always possible. Next, we've got to ask um, um, fairly straightforwardly um, uh, what sort of we've got extends there. So, what sort of subtypes have we got from that? Subtypes of that could be L of B. That's an obvious subtype. So we can have G N of L of B. That's a very standard sort of thing. And uh, if you have a look at that, um, that means we can also have gn of x of y, where x is a subtype of L and y is a subtype of b, because that works as well. So what other subtypes have we got? can we get from, from that? Well, um, we can get um, L of something which extends n of k, for example. Uh, why do we get that? Well, um, the alpha follows straight from there, the n, because n of k is a subtype of L of k, and L of k extends b, so what we've got is a subtype here. We've got uh, nk, which is a subtype of b, and that's a, therefore that's a, that's a valid subtype. That's a valid parameterization. Uh, what about this? Um, we've got uh, L of something that extends B, and uh, you've got L of something, you can have N of the same thing, that would be a subtype. So you can have N of something that extends B, that's very straightforward. You can also have N of something which uh, extends Q B, because Q of something um, is a subtype of L of something, and L of something is a subtype of B. So Q of B like that. Uh, you can also have this um, wildcard form. And you can have that because if you look at the set of applicable types there for um, a GN of something which is super that, my first thing to notice is that this thing in here is a subtype, as we've just proved up here. So um, the uh, wildcard super form is going to have some sort of intersection, um, non-empty intersection, I should say, with uh, with the set of uh, types which extend that, and so therefore that's a valid um, a valid parameterization. Include that which would uh, allow a number of types in there. Uh, what about um, GN of something which extends? N of something which extends B. Um, yep, that's uh, perfectly valid. It's a subtype of that, in fact. Uh, okay, what about um, what about uh, GN of uh, Q of uh, something which extends Q of C? Well, um, Q of uh, something is um, like L of something, and um, it's a, a subtype of L of something, and uh, uh, so therefore we've got um, uh, one of the supertypes of this is L of uh, something which uh, extends Q of C, and um, if we're extending Q of something, um, 
that's the same sort of thing as uh, that's a subtype of L of something and L of something is subtype of B so that thing um, is a is a uh, subtype of uh, subtype of, of B so uh, therefore um, uh, this is indeed a subtype of of uh, of that L of something that extends B. Uh, next, we've got uh, finally. Well, finally, we've got um, G N of something that extends L of something. Um, that's certainly going to be a valid type because there's a whole range of types that can be set into that. Anything which is which extends L of something. And um, uh, L of something, yeah. Uh, this is certainly a uh, super type of L of something that extends B, so therefore it's going to have an intersection with that. So, in fact, it's going to be the whole lot. Another way of saying the whole lot is going to be pulled in. So, that's okay. Now, here's a couple of things that are not okay L of something which is super QC. Um, G, uh, Gn of something which is Gn of L of something which is super Q. Now that's um, uh, that's not allowed because um, that thing is not a subtype of that, and, and uh, uh, nor could it ever be because um, this is a uh, super form and that's an extend form. So those two are not um, going to be compatible with the. Um, extend for uh, the, the super form would inc include L of object, for example, uh, which would be excluded there. Likewise, this form um, this would include L of object, and that's not in that one. So, those two are ruled out and will give compiler errors.